the question here is identify the anomaly and we can see there is a clinical picture and the radiographic picture so we'll just try to enlarge it and try to understand it better so if you see here we'll be able to identify that this seems to be a deciduous canine this also seems to be a deciduous canine and between these there have to be four teeth okay one had to be lateral incisor then center incisor again the left center incisor and lateral incisors so we can presume from the clinical uh, picture very well that there is a fusion of the central incisor and the lateral incisor that is one thing now how this is a very easy case but sometimes you can be given a complicated say, case maybe uh, you don't have this particular tooth this particular tooth has been extracted and you are given a radiograph then how will you identify this particular fusion so here yes the thing is unanimously it is going to be a fusion only now if you uh, see through the radiograph let's try to understand the radiographic features here so yes this is the crown here this is another crown here and you'll be able to appreciate the radio lucency here there are two root canals right these root canals are separate right and when there are separate root canals if you are just given the radiograph you can presume this to be a fusion right another way is that you have to count all the numbers in the mouth of the patient and if uh, there is a lesser number then you can consider it to be the fusion and if it is a more one more number than the total number of crown then you can call it as gemination so yeah we'll just try to understand this further so let's see what are the options here fusion gemination concretions and dilaceration so fusion is nothing but the two teeth which are completed generally fuse with each other through dentin generally most of the time they are uh, fused with each other with dentin and uh, they have two separate root canals two separate root canals and that can help you identify this particular anomaly then yes gemination gemination is generally single tooth bird when single tooth bird splits into two it splits into two okay and here you will be seeing that these two crowns will be there but only one root canal will be there root canal is generally one in this case and that will help you identify the gemination then we have concrescence now concrescence also has two separate teeth but the catch here is that the teeth are joined with each other with cementum only only cementum is fusing in these two teeth and yes the tooth uh, two will be there right then what is dilaceration so dilaceration is an anomaly where the apical portion sometimes apical portion but a portion of the crown generally bends out okay remember first whenever uh, your crown is there right so you can be given as the crown is bent that is also fine or the portion of the root is bent that is also fine so do not get confused in these terminology actually there has to be a active bending also so yes i'll show you the dilation in the incisor you'll be able to appreciate yes there is a bending of the root here or we can uh, in other way can say that root is straight like this and the crown whole tooth is bent okay so there should not be any confusion in this then we see there is something called torodontal in the torodontal what we have we have enormously large pulp chamber okay so the crown is totally more uh, a large and that's why it is known as the bull's teeth then if you see the gemination now you see that only one root canal is there but in the mouth you can see two teeth can be there in the mouth there can be two teeth right and that can help you to identify about the gemination and that can help you to differentiate between the gemination and fusion so how will fusion look like fusion will look like this there will be two separate roots with two separate root canals that can be visible through the radiograph and that will help you to differentiate these two anomalies and coming to the concretions so all the tissues will be different just the outermost that is your cementum layer is only attached with each other that is called as the concrete sense so coming back to the question uh, the anomaly here is very easy to identify and that is none other than your fusion that is why option one is correct